been following along in the first video, what we took a look at was uh, basically the installation of um, Drupal using Drush. So basically that took care of our first video. In this video, once we have Drupal installed, we're going to create our custom module. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have my directory here, my D7 directory here, and I'm going to go to sites, all modules. And if you have a new installation, like we should, uh, you shouldn't see anything here other than the readme.txt file. Um, and what we're going to do to create our custom module is we're going to create a new folder and you can name it whatever you prefer, uh, depending on what you're naming your module. So just make sure that you remember what you're naming your folder so that you're consistent across the naming convention um, in the different files. So I'm going to name mine MKDS. Okay, go in there and I'm going to create two files here. And so the first file is going to be the info file that gives the information about the what the module does. And I use uh, a software called uh, Text Expander that allows me to do that without having to remember exactly what the configuration is. So Okay, so let's take a look here. So first line, ID, uh, don't worry about that for now. Second line here is going to be the name of our module. Uh, I'm gonna call it MKDS greeting, okay? And uh, basically what it does here in the third line is that it says the description is, it says hi in all the titles. So what the module is gonna be doing is that it's going to replace whatever title we give to the nodes. It's going to replace those and it's going to say hi to us, okay? Um, and then no dependencies. Our core is Drupal 7, the version of our module 7, and I'm going to give it a package of Mercal's development services so that it is nice and organized under its own category. We're going to save this as MKDS info. Let's go ahead and grab this here. Let it drop in here. Let's see. Let's see. One more time. So modules, KDS, there it is. Safe. Okay. As you can notice also, this is not a PHP file. And that's kind of important so that you don't add the PHP tag. All right, and let's get rid of this so that we create our module uh, file, which is a PHP file. And we're just going to give it here uh, a little description. So let's say MKDS gre greets us every time. And there are conventions for actually the commenting and uh, everything you do before you actually start coding your functions in this PHP files, um, we're not going to go into details of those conventions uh, because you will learn more about them as you progress um, doing uh, more custom modules and so forth. Uh, especially important if you are submitting these modules uh, to be hosted in Drupal.org. So don't worry about that for now. I'm going to save this one as uh, mkds.module. Alright, so basically you can see that I have two files named mkds.info and mkds.module inside of an mkds folder. And that's pretty much it. So first thing I'm going to do here is I am implementing implements hook menu. Uh, what hook menu does is um, it creates, let me just do it like this for to show you. Uh, what hook menu does is that it, it um, associates a URL, a specific URL, with a function. Therefore, 
every time that somebody visits the URL in your Drupal installation, it actually comes back with some information. It runs that function. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to return the items. So we're going to set items, which is an array, of course. Um, and we're going to set this to admin settings mkds so when people go to this url here they're going to fire up a function that we're going to define in a second so this is an array in itself and so we're going to give it a title this title is going to be mkds uh, i'm using the t function here so that it is available for translation A good practice to do that okay and then description um, which the description is um, it says hi in every title all right and then after that we're gonna give it a page callback and what the page callback is, is the name of the function that is going to be run once people visit here. So I'm going to just say, say hi, because it can be anything. So I can set it to whatever I prefer. Then I'm going to set the access arguments. Okay, and I just noticed that this is not an underscore, this is just space. All right. Uh, so the arguments here is going to be an array of the um, access parameter. In other words, uh, who has access to this? Who can run this? And I'm going to say, if they have permission to access administration menu, uh, which of course this is already set somewhere, so this is an actual permission, so it's not that I'm making it up here, then they can go ahead and access our our page or run the function when they access that page and then finally the type so what is the type uh, and it's a constant called menu normal item and that finishes this up so that's the implementation of hook menu let's go ahead and save this and uh, let's take a look so we go down here in modules so i clicked here modules and we have our own sub section here called mercal's development services and it has the name that we set in our info file the version and then a little description here so we can enable that and voila that's actually our custom module and that's great stuff so it is enabled however if we were to go there it nothing would happen and the reason nothing would happen is because we didn't and uh, we, we didn't actually uh, declare our page callback and or our function that we're gonna call so if we were to go there we would get an, an error because it's not calling anything we didn't declare that function so in our next video, what we're going to do is declare that function and make the functionality happen uh, so that we close uh, by knowing exactly how to declare th those functions and how to make uh, things happen within the code in our custom module. That's in our next video. <laughs>